Jasmine Bertel is a financial expert and founder of MoneyMagpie.com and joins me now. What lays, what lies behind these increasing numbers then, Jasmine? Good morning. Hi there. I think it's, it's an increasing pressure um, around us all to buy. You know, we've got these constant, huge Christmas adverts um, with, that, that have lots of money behind those telling us that basically we have to spend loads of money on food, presents, goodness knows what, in order to have a proper Christmas. And you know, it's, it's, it's very hard to... Uh, to, to keep strong when you've got this sort of constant barrage if you go into the into the streets into the shops you've got again a, a constant push to buy 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 yeah but they've always been there haven't they those adverts why is it getting worse now would you say well i think it's, uh, there's a mix yeah it's, it's true it's always been there but it's somehow it, it i think over the last well, a couple of decades it seems to me as We've had more commercialism in the country generally. I think we've got um, a more commercialised Christmas as well. And certainly, you know, when it comes to the shops, they they are desperate to sell. You know, this is part of the golden triangle, as you know. Um, Christmas, New Year, and then there's um, um, Valentine's Day. Those yeah. are particularly um, good times for um, shops and other businesses to make money. So as they've had a tough time generally, they're really pulling out the, the stops now saying, look, just get it now, just buy it now. And, you know, we've had, when I say golden triangle, it's getting to a sort of golden square. We've already already had um, Black Friday um, with people spending insane amounts of money on things that quite often they don't need or want. So there's things that, that are really, we're, we're being pushed at the moment to spend money um, in places where really we shouldn't be. Um, and I think a a lot of families are believing this and children are believing it and, and uh, trying to get their parents to buy them what they think that they want. And lastly, uh, what, tips do you, what tips do you have for my listeners if they are going to avail themselves of loans? Where should they go and where should they not go? Well, certainly not payday loans, obviously. Try not to do, um, it, certainly not you know, the doorstep lenders either. Um, ideally, I would say um, go and join a local credit union. Um, credit unions um, are run by local people for local people and they will loan small amounts because sometimes you know people just want 75 quid kind of thing and the banks aren't interested in that and you can get them at a decent rate and there are people there who will help you to budget and possibly even talk you out of doing it as well we'll leave it there jasmine Bertel, thank you financial expert and you founded moneymagpie.com